What connects the Chinese, Koreans, and Japanese not just culturally but biologically? Could their DNA reveal a story of shared origins and surprising differences? This video uncovers ancient genetic secrets that link these East Asian nations, revealing their shared ancestry and the unique traits that set them apart. Did you know more than half of their DNA can be traced back to a single group of ancient farmers along the Yellow River? Or that Japan's genetic code holds a rare signature from its island ancestors, while Korea's DNA ties them to Siberian hunters? And here's the kicker. These East Asian populations even share unexpected genetic connections with ancient Europeans and Middle Easterners. Intrigued? Hmm, you're not alone. The Chinese, Koreans, and Japanese are cultural powerhouses, shaping art, technology, and global influence. But beneath their rich histories lies a genetic story that has remained untold for centuries. Understanding these links isn't just about science. It's about unraveling the threads of human connection, migration, and evolution. This video goes beyond facts. It brings by watching this video you'll discover the shared genetic roots of these nations and how they define East Asian identity, the unique DNA traits that make each population distinct, fascinating global ties that connect these groups to regions far beyond East Asia. This isn't just a lesson in genetics. It's a journey into the essence of who we are as humans. So, are you ready to unravel the mysteries written in the DNA of East Asia? Hit that like button, share your thoughts in the comments, and subscribe for more captivating stories about our shared human history. Now, let's dive in and uncover the genetic puzzle of the Chinese, Koreans, and Japanese. You won't want to miss the shared ancestors, a common beginning. Over 7,000 years ago, the Yellow River Neolithic farmers thrived in what is now modern-day China. Their ingenuity laid the groundwork for agriculture, trade, and human development in the region. But their greatest legacy isn't what they built, it's what they passed down. Today, 77% of the DNA in Chinese and Koreans can be traced directly to these ancient pioneers. For the Japanese, 61% of their genetic makeup also comes from this same source, showing a deeply rooted connection. How can a group of people who lived so long ago still impact the identity of nations today? What stories do these shared genes reveal about unity, migration, and survival? As the centuries passed, these early populations didn't stay in one place. They moved, they adapted, and they intermingled. Migration paths weaved across East Asia, spreading not only their genes, but also their ideas, traditions, and innovations. The Chinese became a melting pot of diverse ethnic groups, with the Han majority emerging as the dominant lineage. The Koreans, situated on the peninsula, became a bridge between mainland Asia and the islands of Japan, fostering exchange and influence. The Japanese, separated by the sea, developed unique genetic traits while still retaining their connection to the mainland. These genetic connections go hand in hand with shared cultural elements. Over thousands of years, East Asian civilizations exchanged philosophies, art, and even systems of governance. Confucianism, for example, became a guiding philosophy in China, Korea, and Japan, emphasizing harmony and respect. The idea of shared roots and common ancestry isn't just a scientific one, it's spiritual too. As the Bible states in Acts 17.26, From one man he made all the nations, that they should inhabit the whole earth. This verse beautifully aligns with the idea of unity found in the DNA of these three nations. So while the Yellow River DNA paints a picture of unity, it's not the whole story. What about the differences? What makes each of these groups unique, shaping their identities over thousands of years? The answers will surprise you. Let's uncover them next. Chinese DNA, a mosaic of ancient worlds. China, a land as vast as its history, is also vast in its genetic diversity. 33% of the Chinese DNA traces back to Southeast Asian Neolithic farmers, linking them to populations like the Indonesians and Cambodians. These ancient farmers shaped not only the landscapes of their time, but also the genetic blueprint of modern China. But why does this matter? This Southeast Asian influence reflects China's position as a bridge, uniting the tropical cultures of the South and the vast civilizations of the North. 
It's a mosaic of ancestry that mirrors its cultural richness. Think of Genesis 1.27. So God created mankind in his own image. This diversity in China's DNA reminds us that humanity's beauty lies in its complexity, reflecting a divine intention to create a multifaceted and interconnected world. What about the Japanese? Could their DNA hold secrets from the very first inhabitants of their island? Japanese DNA, the legacy of the Jomon people. The Japanese carry a fascinating genetic fingerprint. 18.8% of their DNA originates from the Jomon people, the indigenous inhabitants of Japan. These were islanders who lived isolated from the mainland for thousands of years, preserving a genetic signature as unique as the cherry blossoms in spring. The Jomon influence highlights Japan's insular evolution, shaping not only its DNA but also its cultural heritage. This genetic link explains the deep connection between the Japanese people and their land, a connection that resonates with Psalm 24 verse 1, The earth is the Lord's, and everything in it, the world, and all who live in it. What about the Koreans? Could their DNA tell a tale of resilience and survival in harsh northern lands? Korean DNA, the strength of the North. The Korean people share 17% of their DNA with the Amur River hunter-gatherers, a group from the Siberian and Mongolian regions. This genetic signature reflects a story of survival in harsh climates, resilience against adversity, and adaptation to some of the toughest conditions on Earth. This connection to the North aligns with the Korean spirit of endurance, a people who have faced division, conflict, and yet rise stronger every time. Isaiah 40, 31 speaks to this spirit. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. Their DNA reminds us that their resilience is not just cultural, it's biological, rooted in the very fabric of who they are. All these groups share a common foundation, the ancient Yellow River Neolithic farmers, each has carved its own path. Their unique genetic components tell stories of migration, isolation, and adaptation over thousands of years. But here's where it gets even more intriguing. Their DNA reveals not just regional connections, but global ties that stretch far beyond East Asia. Curious? Let's dive into the broader story of their global genetic connections. Surprising global connections, the hidden threads of our shared DNA. Long ago, in the fertile lands of Anatolia, modern-day Turkey, a group of ancient farmers began one of the greatest human migrations in history. These were the Anatolian Neolithic farmers, and their influence reached not just Europe and the Middle East, but also East Asia. Astonishingly, up to 43% of the DNA in East Asian populations can be traced back to this group. Thousands of years ago, these farmers moved across continents, spreading their knowledge of agriculture and leaving a genetic footprint that would connect seemingly distant peoples. Their legacy is not just in the crops we grow, but also in the DNA shared by billions of people today. Think about the words of Ecclesiastes 3.11. He has made everything beautiful in its time. He has also set eternity in the human heart. Yet no one can fathom what God has done from beginning to end. This verse reminds us that humanity's story is vast and interconnected, stretching across time and space in ways we are only beginning to understand. A journey through migration and trade. But how did these genetic connections stretch so far? The answer lies in the great highways of human history, migration and trade. Consider the Silk Road, the ancient network of routes that connected East Asia to Europe and the Middle East. It wasn't just silk, spices, and gold that moved along these roads. Ideas, cultures, and even genetics flowed freely, weaving a complex tapestry of human interaction. Picture merchants and travelers, their caravans winding through deserts and mountains, exchanging more than goods. With every step, they were unknowingly contributing to the genetic and cultural blending that shaped the world we know today. Does this ancient connection mean we are more alike than we realize? Could understanding these shared roots help us bridge divides in our modern world? The Bible teaches us in Acts 17.26, From one man he made all the nations, that they should inhabit the whole earth, and he marked out their appointed times in history and the boundaries of their lands. This passage emphasizes our shared origin, 
reminding us that no matter how far we've traveled or how diverse we appear, we are one human family. These ancient bridges of DNA are not just relics of the past. They are living proof of how connected we truly are. But here's the question. How do these genetic differences shape our cultures, societies, and identities today? Let's dive deeper into that next. 1. China. A tapestry of diversity. Picture this. A bustling market in Beijing, where vendors speak different dialects and the aromas of regional dishes fill the air. From the vibrant traditions of the Uyghurs in the West to the elegant tea ceremonies of the Han Chinese in the East, China's cultural richness mirrors its genetic complexity. With 33% of Chinese DNA tied to Southeast Asian farmers, their heritage is as diverse as their landscapes. Take the story of the Miao people, an ethnic minority with ancient songs passed down through generations. Their unique traditions reflect genetic ties not just within China, but across Asia. In Lam Corinthians 12.12 12, it says the body is one and has many members, and all the members of the body, though many, are one body, so it is with Christ. China's unity amid diversity echoes this truth, a nation composed of many members, each contributing to a greater whole. This diversity has shaped China into a cultural powerhouse blending ancient traditions with modern influence. But what happens when a nation's geography isolates its people? The answer lies across the sea. 2. Japan, the strength of isolation. Imagine a remote village in Japan, where every custom, from the art of kintsugi to the poetry of haiku, feels untouched by time. This is the result of Japan's insular development. DNA markers reveal that the Japanese shared genetic ties to the ancient Jomon people, whose unique culture shaped the foundations of modern Japan. The Jomon people's pottery, some of the oldest in the world, symbolizes resilience and creativity. Just like their genetics, it tells a story of endurance through isolation. In Matthew 5.14, it is written, You are the light of the world. A city set on a hill cannot be hidden. Japan's island-on-a-hill status allowed its culture to shine distinctly, preserving its traditions while influencing the world. Today, Japan's cultural treasures, from sushi to anime, are celebrated globally, blending ancient heritage with cutting-edge innovation. Mini Hook Now let's journey to the Korean Peninsula, where genetics meets modern global influence. 3. Korea, a rising cultural power. The streets of Seoul buzz with energy. Crowds cheer for K-pop idols, savor street food, and celebrate their nation's ascent on the global stage. But Korea's story begins in its DNA. With 17% of their genetic makeup linked to Siberian hunters, Koreans carry a legacy of survival and adaptability. Consider the Halu wave, a cultural movement born from this resilience. From BTS to Parasite, Korea's global reach reflects its history of overcoming adversity and creating art that resonates worldwide. In Philippians 4.13, we are reminded, I can do all things through him who strengthens me. Korea's meteoric rise showcases a strength rooted in both history and determination. Korea's influence transcends borders, proving that their genetic and cultural heritage fuels a universal appeal. What can we learn from these interconnected yet distinct stories? As we've seen, the DNA of these nations is more than just biological. It's the foundation of their identities. Shared roots tie them together, but their unique paths create distinct legacies. The story of East Asia teaches us a profound truth. Unity doesn't erase diversity. Instead, it enriches it. Like threads in a tapestry, these nations weave together to create a picture of resilience, creativity, and global impact. Now it's your turn. What surprised you most about these genetic and cultural connections? Drop a comment below, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more stories that bring history and science to life.